What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Well of Radiance nerf coming uh, with the final shape update. Now, a lot of people heard this and thought it was going to be a bad nerf, but at the same time, I think it's a bit of a buff as well. We'll go ahead and talk about exactly what's changing with Well of Radiance, let you guys kind of decide for yourself. But Bungie kind of talked about Well of Radiance core fantasy has always been a supercharged healing empowering rift combo offering a rally point for you and your fire team during moments of focus in its current form its healing and damage resistance offer effective invulnerability which removes any other defensive option from consideration on top of providing uh, providing a sizable boost to your fire team's offensive output We've chosen to push the Well of Radiance further towards that offensive capability by allowing its radiance to persist for a short duration after players leave the Well. We've also pulling back on its defensive output, both damage resistance and healing rate. So they're pretty much saying that there's no player is running anything besides a Well of Radiance because it's doing both, giving you a damage bonus and healing, healing and giving you invulnerability. So it looks like they're wanting players to use other classes along with the Warlock to, you know, be able to deal damage and have healing, you know, kind of on top of that. So what they're going to do for Well of Radiance is now grant Radiant for eight seconds when players exit the Well of Radiance area, which is a pretty good thing because you're going to have that bonus from Well of Radiance for eight seconds. So that damage bonus is going to persist for eight seconds after you're out of the well. Reduce player survivability while standing in the Well of Radiance Aurora. Reduce the healing from 100 to 50 health points, uh, matching restoration times 2. Increase the heal on cast from 40 to 300 health points. Reduce the damage resistance versus non-boss combatants from 40% to 20. And reduce the damage resistance to boss combatants from 40 to 10. Note, damage resistances versus enemy players is unchanged. They also increase the maximum orbs of powers from uh, power from defeating targets while you're in the Well of Radiance. Uh, Aurora from 4 to 5. So, in other words, they're really wanting you to pair other things. And it, the first thing that comes to mind to me is something that you don't see as much as, as, as you have in the past. And that would be the bubble from the Titan. You know, a long time ago, especially during Destiny 1 and some into Destiny 2 when it first was released, you always had a bubble Titan and a Well Warlock. Um, that's something that you kind of like to run together uh, in Destiny 2. You wanted, you know, right at the start of the game, those were the ways that you had good defense and also were able to do big damage from that Well of Radiance, uh, you know, damage boost. And over time, Well of Radiance has pretty much become the end-all be-all because it was doing healing, it was, you know, giving you that damage resistance, and you were also getting damage from being in that Well. So now the way they have done this, like I said, it is a bit of a nerf. But at the same time, they have changed some things for the better. Like I said, being able to leave that, you know, radiant area from the well for eight seconds and still have that effect is really, really good. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about these changes to well of radiance. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.